Hi everyone, welcome to another one of these Word from the Word videos. Uh, I've been doing them for a few weeks now and personally I've been really appreciating the opportunity to, to open the Bible and share something from what I'm, that I've been reading uh, and sort of really recognised and felt that that's been something that's been missing uh, from my life recently, just the opportunity to, to share a thought from the Bible with people. Uh, but as I've been thinking about that, I've been thinking that I don't really know who I'm sharing with. I haven't got too much of an idea who's watching these. And, and to some extent, that's fine. Uh, I've always said that I'm, I'm doing this just to put them out there and give me an opportunity to share something from the Bible. And I'm not too worried about followers or people listening um, and, and sharing and sh sharing it with others and getting a big following or anything. But at the same time, I'd love to have a bit of interaction. I'd love to know what's going on in your lives. I'd love to know uh, what you think of maybe some of the things I've said uh, or, or even some of the things that you may want to see um, in these videos, in, in what passages I could, I could possibly share a word from the Word on. And so today what I wanted to do was share a verse, just simply one that has been with me for a long time. Uh, and, and share that with you and then maybe ask you a few questions as well, if that's all right. Uh, and so, yeah, this verse is Psalm 121, which is a really well-known psalm. Uh, but when we moved up from Queensland, my dad was in the Air Force, and so we travelled around quite a bit and we lived in a few different places when I was a kid. Uh, my mother got involved in the church, uh, in a local church when we were living just outside of Newcastle in New South Wales. And, and that was my first experience of church and going to Sunday school and, and listening to the truths of the Bible and believing them. And, and I, I really believe I became a Christian quite young there in, in um, Sunday school, hearing the truth about God and believing it. But when we moved to Queensland, we got involved in another church, obviously, as we moved into a new location. And this church uh, had a different way of doing things. And one of the things that they did was really encourage the kids to get involved in services. And I can remember I was probably about 10 years old and I was asked to read a Bible verse in the church service on a Sunday morning. And uh, as you can expect, at 10 years old, standing up on the stage in front of all of those people with a microphone that made me uh, sound so much louder than everything, than anything I probably ever experienced before was a big deal. And I was a bit nervous about it. And so I practiced and I practiced and I practiced reading this Psalm, Psalm 121. And to be honest, by the time I got up on that stage, I probably didn't need to have my Bible there in front of me. I practiced so much that, that I knew this psalm off by heart. And, and to this day, so I was 10 years old back then on that day. Uh, and just in the last month or so, I've just celebrated, I guess you could say, my 40th birthday or uh, endured my 40th birthday. Uh, so that's 30 years, 30 years of this psalm really being written on my heart, something that I can still probably memorize uh, or still have memorized and could probably just recite to you today. But with the Word from the Word videos, I've actually been reading from the ESV most times. Uh, it's just a personal choice lately that I've, I've chosen to do a lot of my personal studies and reading in the ESV translation. Back when I was uh, on stage as a 10 year old, I would have been reading from the NIV and that's what I have uh, memorized. But I thought today what I'll do is read from the ESV and uh, just share a quick thought on that and then ask you a few questions as well. So this is Psalm 121. It says, I lift my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. And I mean, it's just a really encouraging psalm, isn't it? It's one of those ones that you see on posters that get hung up on walls because, look, in times of trouble and in times of suffering or, or, or things where we're just feeling a bit down, it's, it's easy for us to cry out, hey, where does our help come from? And it's hugely encouraging to know that our help does come from the Lord. Um, and the one who has made heaven and earth, the one who is in control, the one who is all-powerful. 
Uh, and he is the one that makes these promises to us that he will not let our foot be moved. That, that as long as we walk uh, in the truths of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the truths of scripture, we have a foundation beneath us that means our foot will not slip or sl um, stumble. Uh, and, and so we know that he holds us, that he keeps us, that he doesn't sleep, that he will never miss out, like he'll never miss anything. Something's not going to happen to us and God's going to go, oops, sorry about that. I had my guard down. He's always watching us and he always cares. And I, I love this picture as well, that he's our keeper, that he is our shade at our right hand. Now, we've had some pretty extreme weather here in Queensland over the last few weeks, haven't we? Where we've had lots of rain and flooding. But there's been days where we still experience that sun beating down on us and the heat, that Queensland heat. And, and I was out cleaning up uh, the other day with the water that had come through our backyard and it was a steaming hot day. And, and my dog was with me and he charged following me around the yard. But very quickly, uh, what was he doing? Dodge was off seeking out the shade. He was finding a shady tree so that he could go down, lie, and just watch me do all the work out in the sun. What was he doing? He was seeking comfort. He was seeking rest. He was seeking a place where he, he didn't feel the burden of the sun anymore. And we know that God is that for us. There are times when uh, things just feel so hard. But we can turn to God and He is our rest. He is our comfort. Uh, not that those things may magically disappear uh, we still have to endure suffering we still have to go through things sometimes we cause our own suffering through our own silliness uh, and we're not promised that those things just get magically taken away because we turn to God but we can rest in him through them and that's just a huge encouragement and I, I love this verse because of that and so today what I wanted to ask was what verse has been with you for a long time uh, maybe you have grown up uh, a Christian uh, and you, you were, as a child, you were part of a church and Sunday school and things like that, like I was. And maybe you had a verse that has, has sat in your heart for, for a long period of time. I'd love for you to share it. Uh, to share it in the comments for this video on Facebook or on YouTube. I'd love to hear from you. Just share that simple thought of this is the verse uh, that has been with me for so long. Uh, one of the other things I thought I might do is in my Facebook story and my Instagram story, if you follow me on either of those uh, social media platforms I'm going to throw a story up and you can ask a question in that story and I'm going to ask that question what verse has sat with you for a long time uh, if you didn't grow up in a Christian home if you became a Christian later in life maybe what verse was it that really first grabbed your attention and, and pointed your eyes to Jesus uh, share that that I really 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 want to hear from you and, and understand uh, what's going on and, and what's part of your life when it comes to your interaction with scripture uh, the other thing I'm going to throw into my stories I'm going to throw another question in there for you to answer um, and you can put it in your comments as well if you're not um, following me on Instagram or Facebook or anything like that and you're just watching these videos uh, but I'd really like to know maybe uh, how do I put it just just is there a verse, is there something that you'd like to see featured in a Word from the Word episode? Uh, is there a Bible verse you'd love for me to take and read and, and, and sit in and then maybe share a thought on? Uh, it might be a verse that you've had for a long time and it's your favourite verse and you'd just like to hear what my take is on it and what I feel God's saying to me through that verse. Uh, it might be a verse that you find challenging and you don't quite understand uh, what it might mean. Um, feel free to let me know if that's the case and, and maybe I can do something to help explain uh, and, and that. Maybe it's a verse that you just think is a bit controversial and you want to try and uh, trip me up and see where I go with something and, and that's okay as well. Um, I just like to hear. So there's going to be two things in my, in my Instagram, Facebook stories and again, things that you can write in the comments. Those two questions. One, what is a verse that has been with you for a long time? It might be an encouragement like the Psalm 121 has been. It might be a challenge. It might be something that sat with you for a long time that points you back to Jesus. I'd love to hear you share that. And then the second question is, is there a Bible verse that you would like to see featured in a Word from the Word video um, in the future? Uh, have a great week. I, I really hope that, that this generates a bit of interaction and discussion. And we'll see you next week with maybe a verse that someone else has actually put forward to be uh, shared. That would be really cool. Have a great week.